friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. I'm going to talk about phyllotaxy. So again, a new term for you. What is phyllotaxy? So we talked about venation, where we talked about the arrangement of veins on the lamina of a leaf. Now we will talk about the arrangement of leaves on, in a plant. How the leaves are arranged in a plant. So phyllotaxy is basically the study of arrangement of leaves on the stem or branch of a plant. So how the leaves are arranged, what are the different ways in which leaves can be arranged on the stem. Now broadly again there are few types of phyllotaxy like alternate phyllotaxy, opposite phyllotaxy and world phyllotaxy. So broadly there are these three types of phyllotaxy, alternate, opposite and world. So we will talk about each of these types of phyllotaxy in detail in the next slide. So let us now discuss about the types of phyllotaxy. The first one that is alternate phyllotaxy. So what happens in alternate? We have a single leaf at each node. So here you can see you have one leaf here. Again, you have another leaf here. So this is known as alternate phyllotaxy. That means the leaves are arranged alternately at each node. So at one node, you have only one leaf. For example, China rose. So if you look at a China rose plant, you will actually see that there is one leaf at one node. And if on the first node, the leaf is on this side, on the next node, the leaf is on the other side. Next one is opposite phyllotaxy. So here we have a pair of leaves at each node. That means at one node we have two leaves just opposite to each other. That is why it is called opposite phyllotaxy. Somewhat like this. So if this is the node, we have one leaf here, one leaf here. So two leaves at each node. Example is a guava plant. So here you can see at each node there are two leaves. Again at this node there are two leaves. Again at this node there are two leaves. So everywhere the leaves will occur in pairs. And the third type of phyllotaxy is world phy phyllotaxy. So here we have multiple leaves at each node. Somewhat like this. So you will actually have a tuft of leaves or a bunch of leaves at one node. So that is called world phyllotaxy. So example is Alstonia. So Alstonia, so here you can see in that Alstonia plant, you have multiple leaves arising from the same node. So not only Alstonia, you would have actually seen many ornamental plants where you can see this kind of world phyllotaxy. So basically there, there are many different ways in which leaves are arranged in plant. In some plants it is alternate phyllotaxy, somewhere it is opposite phyllotaxy, whereas in some other plants it is world phyllotaxy. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.